So today we came to a waterfall and I've already had a couple of jumps in but I'll show you in a minute. It was a bit of a walk. We had to uh, go up a little track on the scooter uh, quite far up, maybe about 30 minute drive and then uh, walk down here which took us about maybe, I don't know, about another 30 minutes to walk down here but it was like the steepest hill ever and then uh, we had to walk through the river a little bit to get to here but this is like the pool that we're in you know and uh, we're jumping off the rocks and it's oh, so refreshing it's like the, the water is so cool and oh it makes a big difference from sweating all the time you know and this is what it's all about you know when you come to the Philippines you want to come to like uh, some rivers and waterfalls and whatnot and jump in because it just it's amazing it is amazing I love it you know and uh, Jennifer's here our sister's here our, our, uh, our niece is here and her nephew is here you know so we're all here having fun you know and it's it's good fun I don't know I mean you can do this you can do this in other countries but this is really like Nobody says anything to you about walking across their land, you know, you just we knocked on somebody's door and we said, look, is it okay to go down there, you know, and they were like, yeah, sure, no problems. You know, like, uh, Jennifer's sister knew where it was, so, yeah, I highly recommend going river swimming in the Philippines up in the mountains because this is amazing. This is amazing. I love it, you know. I'll show you, uh, I'll make a little video of where we are so then you don't just see the waterfall. Okay, that's it. Are you coming in? No. No? Yeah. Why do you come all the way up here?
filming? So we came down out of the jungle up there. You know, Jennifer came through the river here uh, because it was a little bit too much to go through the jungle there. So, and that's Jennifer's uh, sister and niece there. Uh, the river goes all the way through here and then you go down a little bit and then this, there's a set of stairs that go up but you have to kind of clamber through a little bit which actually it's not too bad it's actually quite easy and then over here they are just pan it round yeah that's Jennifer and this is the pool of water here and you got Jennifer's nephew having a little uh, massage a waterfall a waterfall massage that's what that's called the water hits you at a rate of knots and you just it relaxes you you just lie there and enjoy yourself I think I might go and do that myself as well hey Jen Jen Say hello, hello to YouTube. <laughs> so this is amazing. This is what it's all about coming up this way. I love it. This one here, which I'm not sure if you can see how far down that is, is massive. But apparently people do jump off of this one. But I don't know how I would get back up if I was to jump from there. I don't know how I would get round and get back up if I'd be stuck down there. So I'm not going to try it. But look at how far down that is, look. Straight off the edge here, look. Oh, um, that is high. I mean, we're talking maybe at least 25 meters. 25 meters to the water at the bottom there. And it looks like some kind of cave, like in there. It looks like maybe some kind of uh, freshwater cave, possibly. I would have to get down there and have a proper look, you know, to see how far in it actually goes. But that is unbelievable, look at that. We actually walked past this on the way up to uh, where we were, we were swimming up there. And we went up went up that way to get to the swimming. And when we came down out, out of the tree, we came down out of the trees here. And uh, and that's that's what we came to. I thought we were actually going to swim here. But uh, there's no, I, I don't know if there's any way to get back up from down there. But that is a massive pool down there. That is a lot of water. Looks amazing though, doesn't it? So we just came up this path here that leads down all the way down there to the riverside we've, we've already walked quite a bit up the hill but uh, I was still wet and I didn't want to touch my phone and whatnot but these are all uh, banana trees somebody's planted a whole bunch of banana trees on the on the hillside here and this looks like a fence to stop uh, animals getting in and whatnot you know so they were heading up the hill this way I'm just gonna pan round so as you can see yeah, so this is where we're walking up here now. <laughs> this hill is pretty steep to be fair. I'm recording that Jennifer. I say <laughs> A Pizza Hut song by the sounds of it. Lemongrass. Lemon yeah. The yeah. What does it, is it? Yeah. Lemongrass. What does that do? Is that like. Yeah, when you, it's a uh, full of spices when you cook something. All oh, right. Yeah. So you can use that in in yeah. cooking. No, when you roast pork or chicken. All oh, right, and you stuff it in the. Yeah. But you don't eat the actual grass. You just no, use it for it flavour. Just smells just so nice. All oh, right. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> is there the farmer's not going to be angry at us no. oh that really smells that's very lemony look this uh all this grass along here it's lemongrass and it smells really strong like very very lemony i can imagine the flavors that that would put into the the meat i hope this gimbal's working because uh, I don't want it to be all vibrating every time I take a step. I bought this gimbal so I could do this kind of blogging, you know. Oh, here's the farmers, look. Here's the farmers. Are they telling them off for picking the lemongrass? <laughs> Hello. Hello. And up here, the, these farmers here, they've got some pigs here, just here, just there, they've got them chained up to the trees, got 
one pig, two pigs, we've got three pigs, quite big pigs actually. And let's just uh, eat all the vegetation and whatnot. Love to roll around in the mud. There's one through there, the pig. Pork is my favorite meat, I love pork. Well, I would say pork, uh, pork and beef. I do like some beef. I like my beef. Oh, are we going in? We're going into the... Are you going to buy some bananas? Yeah, we buy some bananas. You're going to buy some bananas? Are these guys, do you want to ask these guys, is it okay to film? Yeah. Yeah, but just, just ask them, make sure it's okay, you know. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. As a blog. <laughs> Thank you. What are those ones? Seedlings. Seedlings? Like seed, like little banana trees or something? No, I think it's papaya. Papaya? Oh. I think it's tomatoes. Oh, is it tomatoes? Oh yeah, the leaf. I, I can recognize the leaf. Yeah, yeah. So they're growing tomatoes in here. Some fresh tomatoes. And this is like a, this is like rural, rural living. This is this is living on the mountainside. Look, they've just they've just ploughed out a bit of field here and planted it out with different vegetation. You know, these guys probably live just off of their own means. You know, they don't rely on anybody or anything to to live, which is an amazing way to live. You know, it's quite a hard way to live, but it's an amazing way to live in terms of like environmentally and whatnot. Is this lady here is the farmer? She's the farmer. You buying some bananas? Yes. Yeah. Here's the here's the here's the guard dog. Woof, woof. You're the guard dog. You're making sure we're behaving ourselves. Eh? Dog looks like it's got some worms in it. You got worms. <laughs> Yeah. Where did see this? See all this wood here? Did they did they carry that down here? But they but they did they because this looks like it's been milled, like this 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 has been cut by a mill. You can tell by the circular blades. They use the chainsaw to cut this. Yeah, like all of that they use the chain. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, they do that. I don't think so. They do. Let me have a look because I can use a chainsaw and that doesn't look like chainsaw. See when you look at, at the way the marks are on the wood, it doesn't look like it's been made by a chainsaw. Yeah. Oh, the chainsaw will come and do it for him. All right. All right, I see. Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Filipino Chainsaw Massacre. So here the guys come with the with the bananas, which I'm questioning how we're gonna carry this to the motorbike, you know. <laughs> oh. That's a lot of bananas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna make banana pie. <laughs> That's a lot of bananas. How many bananas you get? How, how many of them? What's going on? Uh, just, we just gonna take it off the. Oh, put it. In... You're gonna put it in a bag. You're gonna put it in a bag. Yeah. yeah. Maybe see that bag there. Maybe take the bottles of water out of that bag. Yeah. 
I'm going to have to learn to speak Filipino. Was that Tagalog you're talking? Bisaya. Bisaya. Is Bisaya the local language here? Yeah? Yes. Everybody talk Bisaya? Yes. Yes. How do you say thank you in Bisaya? Salamat dong. Salamat dong. Salamat dai. Salamat dai. Dai, if, 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 YouTube. Atau ni apa? Atau apa? Kadal, dah kena bertanya nanti. Empat sila. Mengapatkan tu, bayi? Nelayan tu sila. Oh, nelayan tu sila. Bertanya tu, bayi. Are we taking all of these bananas? Yes, we're not. Woof, we're gonna be eating bananas for like three weeks. We're gonna tie them with the. Bila kadal lagi ni main. We're gonna make a little. Oh, right. Kita kan boleh kalburu, ini lebih enak. So we're buying a whole bunch of bananas off of uh, the farmers here. We just came out of the river down there, but we're swimming in the river down there. And when we came up the stairs, uh, the farmers were uh, in the field here, cultivating the field. And they, uh, they asked them about uh, buying some of the bananas. So... Uh, they, they said, yeah, we can buy some of the bananas, but the farmer went down the back down the hill. or well, he wasn't down the hill, but he went back down the hill uh, where we were and cut the bananas fresh off the tree and brought them up for us. And now he's going to tie them on a bit of rope so as we can transport them on the motorbike back to, uh, back to the house. But there's a lot of bananas and we're going to probably be going to be eating them for like <laughs> two weeks. You know, probably more than that, actually, but... We feed the whole family with all these bananas. You know, I don't, I never tasted Filipino bananas, but I'm looking forward to it. You know, they look like they look really fresh. So Jesa has uh, stuck these bananas on her head. She's gonna walk up the hill. I was gonna carry them. You know, I was gonna t put them on my shoulder, but Jesa stuck them on her head, and she's like, she's off. And we bought some lemon grass as well. Quite looking forward to trying one of these bananas. I think it's going to take a couple of days to ripen, but I'm going to try one of these bananas. But this is the this is the walk. I, we actually asked them uh, if anybody else had been swimming, and uh, the other day, uh, four people came down to go swimming in there. Four foreign people went down there to go swimming. So yeah, must be quite a well-known spot. Jennifer's in a rush. I'm knackered already. You don't want to carry even a. Yeah, I can carry the bottle. The bottle. The well, that's what I was. I was going to. I was going to carry the bananas. But Jesus, like so strong, you know. She's like. Yeah. I don't know if you know what that means. It might not look like a steep hill uh, on the phone, but it is, it's quite steep. <sighs> My clothes are still wet from swimming in the, in the river, which is quite nice because it's keeping me cool. All these big coconut trees up here. You can see that. Look at that like a coconut farm probably the same farmers do you think the farmers down there they're the same farmers that own these coconut trees yeah four hectares four hectares they've got did you ask them is that what they said yeah, yeah. all right i've got a couple of cows and a couple of pigs 
couple of dogs and a, a rooster. Ooh. Is that rain? Is it raining now? Yeah. I thought it was raining there. Do you know? I wasn't sure. I was like, is that rain? I bet I put my, put my gimbal away. We're nearly at the top of the hill. And we're another 200 meters will be at the top of the hill. So I'll leave you all to have a, a great day. And uh, I'll, uh, I'm out of breath. I'm really out of breath. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Right,